Look, you can't just start a slow clap at any old time. You gotta wait for the right moment. But how am I going to know when it's the right moment? Oh. You'll know. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Scalywag Nation. I'm Michael, and today I got a special guest. This is my pappy from Minnesota. What's up? <laughs> so yeah, pretty excited to get done uh, or get you know watching Game of Thrones with uh, Paps because this is the first time I've ever watched Game of Thrones with him. Besides, whenever I showed you that was it the first episode I showed you, and that's it, right? Absolutely. Just the one episode. So I'm excited to to knock out the. Well, it's kind of poetic, right? Watch the first episode ever and, <laughs> and the, the final episode. So, nice. Yeah. And uh, I don't think I've ever watched anything else beyond that, have I, with you? Nothing in the middle? No. That's crazy. <laughs> so, But yeah, so I guess just, uh, he literally just started watching this, what, like a month ago? I and he's did. been binging it like a madman, so yeah. I dig it. So well, there's not a whole lot of people left to, uh, no. you know, there, a lot of people died, especially in that last episode. So, right. uh, yeah, pretty much what do we have in that last episode? Now that we're, now that we're kind of segueing into that. We, uh, what do we have, Dad? You watched the last episode. <laughs> I did. I did watch the last episode. A lot of people died. Yeah, yeah a lot. Yeah, all King's Landing, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the eunuch died. Yeah, Varys. Yeah, Varys. He was the first one to go, and I knew it as soon as he started writing that letter at the beginning. I'm like, Varys is gone. Yeah. So, yeah, that was uh, that was sad because he's been around since the you know first episode, essentially. So that's true. I was pretty sad to see Varys go. He's one of my one of my favorite characters. I like his. He always has like the best dialogue, you know. Littlefinger is one of the most dangerous men in Westeros. If Robb Stark falls, Sansa Stark is the key to the north. And if Littlefinger marries her, he'll have the key in his pocket. Which seems such a shame. Why should a man with such a low reputation steal away such a lovely bride? You must despise him. You're working so hard to undermine him. Actually, I rather enjoy him. But he would see this country burn if he could be king of the ashes. You are a clever man, Lord Varys. You are too kind. I believe I have a possible solution. One doesn't need to be clever for that. It's all rather obvious, isn't it? So next to Littlefinger, you know, it's me, him, Tyrion, and uh, Littlefinger all had like the best dialogue throughout the entire series, you know. They're probably the smartest people in Westeros, if not the world of Game of Thrones, but... Um, yeah, who else did we have? We had, uh, um, what, what name? Oh, I guess Jamie and Cersei yeah, the, dying the together. Lovers. Yeah, dying together. <laughs> yeah. So that was, uh, that was wild. Um, yeah. kind of sad to see Jamie revert back to his, uh, natural, you know, first, first season state. But, you know, that, that's, that says a lot about human nature, you know? Like, that's I feel cool. like, you know, especially like first love, this is, that's been the only person he's ever loved, you know? Right. Cersei. So. It, it's it's definitely it's it's just real to me you know like it, it as much as all of us wanted him to love Brienne of Tarth you know right. and go back to her it's like I'm pretty sure Jan, like any of us would have done that you know like revert back to the you know our first love or whatever but anyway um so yeah that there's that and then we had the the Clegane Bowl the Hound in the Mountain oh yeah yeah that was awesome right what a fight long time coming yeah, everybody's been waiting for that you know I don't know if you remember the first season but yeah, there's a there's a scene where he's a uh, you know the, him, the hound and the mountain go to fight, and uh, the mountain goes and like swings and then like I can't remember I think it was Robert he like he, he says something and then the hound kneels really fast and the and the mountain just like swings and misses him and right. so right. he would have chopped him in half easy but so yeah that was that was cool to see that again um, and we had Kyburn his creator oh yeah just dying yeah. <laughs> like it was nothing and. Uh, a lot of people. So now we got our new villainess, you know, our, our new vixen. So Daenerys. Uh, so I totally saw it. A lot of people are pissed off that Daenerys is the new villain, but I'm just like, dude, I saw that coming from season one. Right. So whenever she started, especially whenever she started, like, 
crucifying the masters and right. burning all the cows alive, you know, and then what else? She, she did all kinds of crazy stuff. You know, she burnt all those dudes alive that didn't kneel. Right. You know, it's just like, dude, she has been, they've been kind of hinting at this for a while. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm ready to get into it. How about you? Let's, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, it's just already been, it's, it's probably already over by now, so... But uh, yeah, I'm excited to get through this. This is a uh, what ten years ten, for us. It's been ten years for you. It's been <laughs> a minutes. couple months. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it's been a long time. So, and like I said, no spoilers yet. So uh, I'm excited to go in this fresh. So, but anyway, I'm nervous, nervous and excited. <laughs> so I'm excited. Ugh. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So, anyways, let's do this. Game of Thrones. Game of Bones. So nervous. It's ridiculous. You're so funny. You're cracking me up, bro. <laughs> oh God. You think she's gonna kill Tyrion and John? Not a chance. You think she's gonna try to kill Tyrion and John? Oh yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> she's gonna try to kill everybody. Mm-hmm. Well Tyrion and John betrayed her. Right. right. So we'll see what happens. Captured Lannisters. In the name of the one true queen, Daenerys Targaryen, Oof. I sentence you to die. Oh, God. It's over. These men are prisoners. It is not over until the queen's enemies are defeated. How much more defeated do you want them to be? They're on their knees. They are breathing. Look around you, friend. We won. I obey my queen's commands, not yours. And what are the queen's commands? Kill all who follow Cersei Lannister. Mm hmm. Yeah, they, free men. they decided that before the battle even started. Easy, man. Easy. Easy. Dang. charts right now. Fear and anger. Yeah. Jeez. That was cool. Good optics. Is this what you wanted, Danny? I thought most of the Dothraki died, but... Get away, Tyrion. What direction are they gonna go? Oh, Tyrion, what are you doing? Get away, dude. Mm. Oh my god. John's gonna have to step in. You freed your brother. Oh. You committed treason. I freed my brother. And you slaughtered a city. Down, buddy. <laughs> just taking a nap, no big deal. <laughs> oh, it's just you. <laughs> oh, yeah, go ahead, buddy. You can pass. <laughs> we good, bro. <laughs> Was 
it everything you hoped for, Danny? <laughs> He's gonna kill her. <laughs> Atta boy, John. Look, you can't just start a slow clap at any old time. You gotta wait for the right moment. But how am I going to know when it's the right moment? Oh, you'll know. <laughs> John, get out of there, dude. Torment stayed. At a boy. Ha! That's awesome. I mean, his ghost is there too. Stark music. Danny didn't even sit on the throne. She touched the throne as it. Just realized that. It's a 
it's like, is he gonna kill her beforehand? Yeah. Lower commander. Those guys the wildlings, that's right. Yeah. Ghost. Oh, he's gonna have the uh, with ghost. Because you're a bit off. Everybody was pissed off that he didn't have a moment with ghost last episode. Right. Or like two episodes ago. That's awesome. Stark ships. Aria's going west. Or e west or east, I can't remember. So this would be the uh, next option. This is how the first episode or the first episode started. into this final episode and I gotta I gotta I gotta admit I, I was pretty I was left pretty hollow after that <laughs> I, was, I was pretty I don't think I was gonna be satisfied with the ending regardless <laughs> you, know, you know so no matter what happened even though it was a happy ending and all that stuff I was I was just like I don't know I, I just felt empty <laughs> you know yeah so, it, was, it was pretty tough yeah so so uh, this is an in interesting perspective from you dad since you you've only been watching this thing for about maybe maybe two months at the most, um, maybe a little more now I don't know. Um, but uh, so like how how was that ending for you? Like was yeah, it, it, it or just the episode in general? So 
it took a couple twists, but I, 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 I thought it was okay. Yeah. I couldn't imagine watching it for 10 years and yeah. seeing that like that. Yeah. Like I mean, it was a good, cool ending. I was happy Tyrion didn't die. Right. I was happy Sam didn't die. I was happy uh, John didn't die. Um, I had a feeling he was going to go on the wall or, I, I, you know, I really didn't want him to go to the wall. I wanted him to go north with Tormund and, and Ghost, which is what he did. I was happy about right. that. Yeah. Um, I'm not 100% happy with Bran being the king. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not a huge Bran fan, but... And see, um, I, and I thought it from the very beginning, just watching it, that he was the natural for it. Yeah, well, you know, even in the books, he's the literally the first chapter, you know? Okay, right. So I'm wondering if he's actually who... Because, uh, you know, the, the books in the show, after a certain point, they're incredibly different from what George R. R. Martin has planned for the, for the books. Okay. So, you know, at some point, you know, uh, I forget their names, but they call them D&D, the two directors of the, of the series... They uh, they kind of had to start taking their own liberties and all this stuff. So, right. but almost I would imagine that George, uh, you know, Martin told them who you know who who rules at the end, and sure. I'm sure they kind of gave him like a like a little exoskeleton of the, and they just had to fill in the guts. Right. But uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I was just I don't know. I, I feel like I just really wanted John to be the king. I think you know, and sure. and. Uh, uh, or Tyrion, you know, Tyrion would have made a good game. Even Davos, you know, he kind of proved right there at the end. You know, remember Davos? He, oh, yeah. He's the one that stood up and is like, "We need to figure this out, guys." But yeah, anyway, so that was that was a good episode. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm kind of like I'm just sad that it's all over, you know. Yeah. So I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that this doesn't leave a bitter taste in a lot of people's mouths, and I hope people get equally excited with the prequels and all the other spinoffs because I know I'm going to be excited about them. I so, too. Yeah, and I'll watch them all, obviously, but. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and rank it, Dad. So what would you give it out of five Flintlock pistols? I would give it, I don't know, four. Four out of five Flintlock four pistols five. for the episode? Yes. What about the series? Oh, uh, series, definitely five plus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if yeah, I could right. be a six, I would. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, I'm right there with you. So, cool. All right. And then... What do you give it? I give it this episode... For the culmination of the entire show, I gotta give it a three, three out of five. Oh. Yeah, but I mean, obviously the series is five plus, but right. five plus for the series. But yeah, I just feel empty after that episode. I think it's just because I'm just overly sad that it's over. <laughs> Honestly, ten years because you gotta, you gotta be sad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pretty sad, but. You know, it is what it is. We uh, we move on, like, you know, s such as life, you know? Like, right. you know, all, all good things must come to an end, and the and the good shows that never come to an end, they uh, eventually start sucking. So <laughs> I, I can't be too sad. Like, the shows that keep going and going, it's like, ugh, just be over already. <laughs> so, but, I mean, I think all, 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 I think all, like, the big series that I've watched, I, I've never really been satisfied with the endings you know right. for any any series that i get into but you know that's you know i think that's just because you get into it and it's like dang it's over i just feel empty so <laughs> just like lost i was like that with lost and dexter and you know all these other shows i'm just like i'm so sad right now <laughs> <laughs> but anyway anyway so that was our uh, that was our show hope you guys enjoyed my pappy here oh, so uh thanks yeah thanks for having me yeah, no problem so Appreciate you having me. So, like I said, it's better than watching it in the hotel room, I guess, huh? <laughs> there you go. Alone. So, right. having nobody to talk to you about it. So, right. uh, this was definitely cool being able to, you know, have the opportunity to sit down with Paps, watch the first and last episode. Boom, boom. boom Here boom. we go. <laughs> and then now you got to convince mom to watch it. So, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, but, anyways, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys, if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell because YouTube clearly doesn't care about subscriptions anymore. So hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I hit a video. And we'll see you guys next week. Peace out. Later.